I feel like all of the lipstick smells are starting to kind of like join together for me. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm really happy you're here because today we are talking about my favorite lipsticks of 2015. And if you've watched my channel for a while, you probably know that's kind of a big deal to me. I love my lipsticks. I've done a ton of lipstick videos over the past year, so I will link all of those in the description box. And believe it or not, I have narrowed this down to five. That's right, five. Like the number of fingers on my hand. And I am just as shocked as you are. I should stop talking now. You guys want to see lipsticks, so let's jump right in. The first lipstick I want to share with you today is by Bobbi Brown. It is one of the sheer lipstick formulas in Lilac. This has been a go-to lipstick for me. I've talked about it before because it's so comfortable and moisturizing and easy to wear, yet it's a little bit special. So it's almost kind of a soft pink, but then it has this purple to it that makes it pretty unique for my collection. I can wear it with a lot of different looks. This is gorgeous, Bobbi Brown Lilac Love. Next up is my favorite nude lipstick. Seriously, my favorite. I love this one, although to be honest, I didn't have this when I did my favorite nude lipsticks video. So it, I don't think it's on there, but it will be. It will be next time, I'm gonna have to do it again. And this is the Pure Color Envy lipstick from Estee Lauder in Desirable, and it is just the creamiest kind of soft, almost ballet pink without being too pink and without looking too washed out. And the formula is just luxurious. It's really moisturizing. It's really smoothing. It lasts long enough before you have to reapply, but when it wears off, it does so very gracefully. I love this lipstick. They have a little bit of a vanilla scent, kind of like a MAC lipsticks, except the formula is way better. Love, love, love. And let's take a moment to talk about how this is a mini lipstick because 2015 was the year of being obsessed with mini lipsticks. Hey Rupert, I know you wanna play with your toy, not right now, not till I'm done, okay? Thank you, good boy. The year of the mini lipsticks, for sure. Love this, I will buy it in the full size when I finish it. None of these lipsticks will be surprises for my longtime loyal subscribers, but, this one's an obvious given, and it is the Bite Beauty Luminous Cream Lipstick in Fig. And I have this in one of the little duos mini lipsticks again, and I haven't stopped talking about these all year. And Fig is just my go-to lipstick. It reminds me a lot of the Estee Lauder uh, Pure Color Envy lipstick that I just showed you, the nude lipstick from that, except it's slightly thinner. It still feels very moisturizing and luxurious on the lips. The Estee Lauder has a little bit more thickness to it. It's not a good or a bad thing, just a difference. I've seen so many people wear this. It looks good on everyone. It's in the permanent collection. I do like date that's on the other side, but Fig wins my heart every time, and I probably would have finished this this year. I mean, there's a significant dip in that. If it weren't for the fact that I lost it, and I was so sad I went out and bought a new one, and then I found it again, which was like, Christmas morning when I found this when we were packing up for our move. So I love this lipstick. When I finish both of the minis I have, I will buy the full size. <sighs> there are no words for how amazing this lipstick is. If you don't have any Bite Beauty lipsticks, what the hell are you waiting for? Trust me, do it now. You will thank me later. It's so perfect. So perfect. They have their own smell, but they don't really smell like anything. Like, I know what they smell like, but I can't describe it. It's just the Bite Beauty lipstick smell. It's not strong. It doesn't bother me. Like, it doesn't smell, like, super good, but it doesn't smell bad. It's just... Sometimes I need to stop talking. This lipstick has the honor of being the only drugstore lipstick in this video. Now, I could do an entire 2015 drugstore lipstick favorites, but I have done one for every season. But this lipstick made the cut today because... It surprised me. I mean, it's a lipstick that I wasn't expecting to like. I never really heard people talk about it very much, and I was blown away. And it is one of the Essence Long Lasting Lipsticks in Wear Berries. And I chose this lipstick for the formula and the color, which is why all of these are here, because they're just lipsticks. They're not sheer, but they're not overly pigmented, where you have to be really careful with them. 
They actually feel moisturizing on the lips. I wouldn't call them super long lasting, even though that's what they're named, but I kind of like that because they're easier for me to wear. They do last for a good four hours. They don't have a strong scent. It doesn't linger on the lips for me. And they're $2.99. $2.99, that's right. I've got this one in Wear Berries, which is my favorite. I also have Natural Beauty for more of an everyday look. Love them both. I've given this to friends. I love this lipstick. And it's just a fun color. It's color without being too much. Absolutely amazing. Love this. Need more colors and you need this too. The final lipstick I have for you for my 2015 favorites is the brightest of the bunch and it is another Bite Beauty lipstick. This one is in the color Lingonberry. I can't count how many times I wore this lipstick this year. I wore it to a lot of special events and every single time I have people asking me what was on my lips. It's just bright but it's also a little bit deep. There's a little bit of depth with sort of a raspberry and a fuchsia and I love it. Everything I said about the formula of Bite Beauty lipsticks for fig is true for this. It's perfection. This one lasts even longer on the lips because of the color and <sighs> I love this lipstick. Do I have to say it? And it's mini. I mean, there's a theme here. There's definitely a theme. My beauty needs to make this shit permanent because it is in one of these duos with Tangerine. Tangerine is one of my favorite orange lipsticks. Didn't quite make the cut, but it was close. It was definitely close. If I had done six, it might have been in there. So I absolutely love this. Look at all these. Look at all that beautifulness. Look, this is 2015. Right there. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite lipsticks, 2015. What are yours? Let me know down in the comments because you guys know I love to hear about that. And stick around. You need to subscribe because I can only begin to imagine the lipsticks that are going to come into my life in 2016 and I want to be able to share it with you. I want to sit down here to share my lipsticks with you and I want to see you there. So subscribe. You should do that. Also, I've been doing these lipstick series like my best lipsticks of a certain color or my favorite drugstore lipsticks for a certain season. Do you guys want me to continue that? Because I'm thinking that that would change like every year. Like my drugstore lipsticks for spring of 2015 is probably going to be different than my drugstore lipsticks for spring of 2016. And you want those to be annual or would that be boring? And I'm saying annual like I'm planning on this YouTube channel being around for years, so you guys better stick around too. That was a lot of words. I don't know what I just said. But Hop on over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Robin's Cup so we can hang out over there. And I will see you guys here next time. Bye. There are a few things I love in this world. My husband, my family, my dogs, music, and lipstick. And lipstick. Jack, if you want to sit there, you have to, you have to lie down. Thank you. Can you lie down? love. Am I going to say that for every lipstick? I'm going to stand here and be like, oh, I love this lipstick. And it's like, yes, bitch, it's in your favorites. My dad smells pretty good for a dad, but I don't want my face to smell like my father. So this, I just, I couldn't get into it. If you've had better luck with it, let me know, but I don't like having man face smell.